Christians from motherfucking life. Get one in your life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know. Shouts out to Tristan on the track. Fuck that. Fuck what the fuck is this? How's it going? Welcome, Yo, sit down. This buddy. is absolutely fucking retarded. Relax, relax. Relax. How's it going? Let's sit down right here. Relax. Welcome to the Canadian Underdogs podcast. How yeah, you, are you doing? You gotta talk into the mic. Yes, exactly. Otherwise, you don't yes. talk in the mic. You wanna be exactly forward there. So. Yeah, of course. Yes. 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 Yeah, yeah, what's so up? So welcome, so how are you doing this fine yeah, Tuesday yeah, yeah. today? It's, it's a good day. Yeah, it's a, really it's good, a good day. day. Yeah. yeah, of course it is. Yeah, yeah. it's a Tuesday. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, it's a great day today. Of yeah. course it is, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, I, I never so, caught your name. So yeah. my, oh, my, oh, my name, oh, my, my name, oh, that... that Let's let's move forward from there now now okay, now tell sure, me, sure, now yeah. tell me how so what brings you to the Canadian underdogs well, ciphers see uh, I knew this yeah yeah the ciphers so yeah kind of like I was like vibing one fucking morning like you know like I'm scrolling through like Instagram and shit and I see like an old friend and he's like posting like we're coming under the fucking bridge and like spin fucking freestyles and shit and like yeah wow yeah, wow so, what a story wow yeah. so then I started wow. like coming through got to know like all the guys and shit started like you know like rapping like, wow really, like, coming, like from like square one like I used yeah. to like spit like wow. back in like 2018 like those oh. kind of days and shit and oh. then you know, like, COVID happened. I was doing, like, a lot of clubs and shit prior. But, like, then oh. after, like, you know, COVID, it was, like, this was, like, the first time kind of, like, coming back into, like, doing music. Yeah, the COVID stuff was crazy. Yeah, hey? yeah, yeah, no, it was fun, you know. Like, yeah. like, I mean, like, you got to yeah. think, like, where is it, like, where, where was the direction in that with, you know, all, like, um, the restrictions and, like, all that kind of, like, the restrictions, yeah, the restrictions were something else, hey? Well, yeah, well, yeah. what it does is it hold it culture, right? Like, you got, like, you know, like, for, like, people our age, our era, you know, we fucking love, like, you know, clubbing, partying, music, cars, like, going out, all that kind of shit just stopped. Like, it, was, it was just gone. And so, like, for me as, like, an artist, it kind of, like, just, like, halted there for me because it was, like, there was nothing to really drive any, like, underground movement for any, like, the music or, like, anything going on in the culture. Like, even in the city, like, Vancouver being so, like, you know, secluded from like the East Coast. You know, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah okay. Yeah. So, so what, how did you find relief for that? Well, you know, the the, so. the relief was just you know you gotta like basically like take like, what you got and like do like as much as you can with what you have, right? So like we were throwing a lot more like underground events and like houses and shit, but like it kind of like just fully halted because like, there was no movement. There was no nothing like this really like driving things forward. You know what I mean? Like. Oh, driving things forward, eh? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, like stuff like this is a platform for artists to build off of, you know, just with, you know, even the venue, with promotion, with marketing. Like, it's something to really, like, build off, you get what I mean? So, How do you view the Canadian underdog ciphers? Well, that's what I kind of see it as. It's, it's kind of like something where, like, you know, you're able to, like, take something, that, you know, what we all got, bring it together and push a movement forward that drives everything stronger yes. together because it gives everybody more of, like, a bigger case. You, yes. you get what I mean, right? Yes, of course I do. Yeah, yes. yeah, hundred percent. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. So, so, and and as you see this as a movement, and what do you, what are your thoughts about that? Well, like like what I see is like you know people all got something. It's kind of like a puzzle, right? Like every person is a piece of that puzzle, and you're able to like bring that together and you know, create a picture of what you really want it to be as a movement, right? Everybody's, every piece is a different, you know, feeling, a different emotion, and whenever it touches that person's hand, they're able to, like, really build something together, just whether, like, it's a the cipher, it's with the conversation, or with anything else really going on. Of course, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. 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 So, and where do you come in here? Where, where? What, what are your goals here? Well, the, the, what the is thing your is, dream? Well, uh, where do you fit in the picture? Well, where I see myself going is more like, you know, for me, like, to be able to to put what I've been through and, you know, my kind of thing in my life and just kind of, like, twist it open fully, right? Where, like, you know, I, I kind of come in and, you know, a lot of people either see me as either a villain or whatever you want to see, you know? It's kind of like, hate it or love it, you know, like the song 50 Cent. It's like, hate it or, hate it or love it, it, then the dog's on top. It's like, whether you love me or you hate me, there, there's something here for everyone, right? There's an emotion, it's like, you either love me or you hate me. It's kind of something in between. And for someone like me to be in that, you know, kind of headspace and, like, keep pushing with those kind of things, like, I'm able to really elevate 
my sense of self coming in. But what happens is, you know, it, it, it's you got to think like me. I, I deal with a lot of high stress in my life. I got a lot of problems, a lot of, you know, and I, it, ain't, it ain't the most fun thing going on. So for me, what's going on and what isn't going on, like, you know, it really affects me before I even come in, right? You know, I'm, I got a lot of things on my mind. You know, I, I come into the site where I'm thinking about family. I'm thinking about, you know, my, my, my girl or my, you know, whatever the fuck. So, you know, like, there's a lot of things going on, you know, what I got going on outside and my goals and my dreams as a person out there. But the one thing that I want to really convey, like as like you know, someone who loves what I do and always wants to keep doing it and never stop, like it, it, it's more like um, you're taking what you got in life, and it's your choice to check it in at the door or not. And and me being the person I am, I feel like I've created such a big persona because I don't check what I got at the door. I bring that inside. If I'm having a bad day, people are gonna fucking know, and, uh, and you're gonna see it. You're fully gonna see it whether or not you know I, I'm, I'm arguing with fucking homies in here whether or not it's a good day or a bad day I'm really in a position where what I'm doing is in it's very reflective on what's going on around oh, right? yeah, okay yes yeah, so, so I feel and, and and that's the point about you know with, with what I do and who I got you know who says that I can't be you know God right? like, what, what is God you know, what is, is God? What is God? Yeah. Then, well, here, what is this, this, God? this here is God. This is God is in all of us and it comes together. Yes. Whether, you know, I, I believe in all religions. I, I wear the cross because, you know, it was oh. given to me through family and family, I, I love that. But, um, so you believe in all religions, so you're an atheist? Well, I'm not an atheist. I, I'm more just, you know, receptive to knowledge as a human, right? You know, I, I was I was raised Catholic. I, I still am Catholic. I identify as, as Catholic, but I also identify as human, right? Because, you know, God is God, you know. Um, we all got to love each other. We can't be fighting over things like that because, like, at the end of the day, you know, the things that we got going on in, in the world, we really got to, like, take to each other and think, like, what is it that we're really you know, trying to achieve his people. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Because a lot of, there's a lot of people in this world who they, they don't, they don't take what they have for granted and then, you know, they don't understand. Maybe they haven't had family members pass away or they've never been through things like that. They don't, they don't take the day for granted, right? You know, like you see every person in here, like they're like, like a lot of these people, they're making big fucking sacrifices, not chasing, you know, careers or the things they should be chasing that can pay the bills and make their parents love them. Stuff like this is a lot more, you know, selective. You know, like if you want to go into music, you want to have crazy talent, even if you got crazy talent, you got to really put yourself the full mile. Of course. And yes, you see these guys that are not making, you know, a ton of money. Though. Some of these guys are doing this, they can barely even pay their rent, you know, and to, to take those top tier artists that have given sacrifice for the craft you're you're now around people who you know like who are in the, I, i'm very fortunate that i'm able to pursue music while also you know being you know with, with my career and you know, how my life went and what i did prior but i took a lot of time to sacrifice chasing the dream of music and throwing that aside to really get my bearings and uh, a lot of those bearings uh, it wasn't all just um you know things i worked towards it was also a lot of mistakes a lot of bad relationships a lot of bad choices a lot of fuck-ups but for me, the thing that matters the most is what, you know, what you got as, as a human, you know, and, you know, I, I, I talk family, I, I love my family, man. my family taught me so much things that I take in my heart, and, you know, I, I hate that sometimes with all the stress I'm under and the stupid choices I make that cause that stress that, you know, when I come into places like this, I don't check my ego enough, you know, it, it really is one of those things where, you know, I, I am what I show, what you think of me is what I've shown, and you know, if I'm having those bad days because I'm not able to check that, you're not thinking, hey, okay, who's this guy, right? So that's how the villain kind of art happened because, you know, I, I, I came to places like this with such a bad attitude that I was like, yo, like, there's a path you can take in this music shit where, you know, you're really aggressive, you're really, you know, fuck everyone, I'm the best kind of thing. You know, I really did take that attitude. But the thing is, at heart, that wasn't the intention, right? So I was getting all caught off guard, like, oh, why do people want to come? But it, it was because of my attitude I brought in, which is, yet again, because of, you know, all the things that I'm choosing to do fucking on my life. And because I don't have the ego to put aside because of my own merit, I'm not able to, like, you know, really be in the best frame of mind. Best frame of mind. As an artist. Yeah. Yeah, and and that's the thing, you know. So so when people hear me rap, they, they see what I do, they see how I behave, and all this kind of stuff. A lot of, a lot of what I gotta say and what I what I what I try to do is just, you know, it's mainly just, hey, like if I'm acting out on this, just know every single thing I'm doing, every single thing I'm saying, all of that 
is coming from what I've done prior because that is what made me who I was. And to anyone who wants to criticize me or anything in my life or anything I got going on, just know what you are seeing is the direct reflection of every fucking choice I'm in. And that's something no one can take away from me. No one. No one in the, in this place could take away what I what I've dealt with, the things I've I've done, the things, all the yes. the good and bad. I am a human. I am a sinner. Yes. I am everything. I am I'm God. I am man. I am what you see. We all are. Though. Yes, of course we we are. All. We've all gone through our own difficulties. Yes. Yeah. Yes, every, everybody's had their own journey, of course. And you've had your own, of course. There. Well, yeah, but like, you know, it's like you see like here, I'll, I'll pull this here. Like You see the difference between a man like this and then a man like this is that this man died fighting for what, you know, Tupac, what he believed in. And, you know, Trav, there's this new generation, right? Like, I, I say this to the people, right? And, you know, whether this interview makes it big or whether or not I ever blow up or become anything, I want, I want anyone to know that. I want to do it this way by being myself the whole mile instead of being an industry plant. And I'm sorry to say, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, Trav's had a hard life too, but, you know, he didn't, with the amount of, you know, exposure he has to what he says and he can control, he's... You should be able to put, you know, people that are in a different place in life in a better direction. You know, that's what this man did here. You get what I mean? Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah. That he took everything for that. You get what I mean? You know, yeah. and then, you know, you look at Jay-Z. This is the definition of a rapper the whole way through. Yes. Someone who... And, and that's the thing about Jay compared to all three of the other the mouse is that Jay really... And I, I mean this about Jay-Z is that... Jay-Z really took what he had and he always raps about where he's at. Where he's at. Right? Like, you don't see him like, you know, you ain't gonna get the old Jay-Z. It's the same way you ain't gonna get the old me or the old anyone else because that's the thing I love about Jay-Z and all of his, his albums. He's really telling that is that you're really not... You, you can't go back. So when it comes to the, you know, the Canadian underdogs, the ciphers, the, it comes to everything else, you can't go back from choices you make. And every second there's a choice. I move my hand right, there's one where I move my hand left. And, and a lot of people, they don't, they take it for granted. They really do. St stuff like this, you can't take for granted. Like, right. you, you really can't because right. movements and things like this is just what life is about, you know, whether it's right. weddings, weddings are one, you know, uh, concerts are all, right. the, it's the connection of people. It, it's any event you have those kind of moments, you know, the right. ones that you saw a lot of people got, you know, anything you could have been brought to as a kid. Right. By your parents to watch whatever right. was a show or a moment. Right. Those are the moments that are special. That's why parents make sure to bring right. their kids. This right. is one of those things. Br bring your fucking people you love to this shit. You stay devoted to what you do because you're seeing people that have made sacrifices willing to be somebody. All four of these guys I just showed you, they did all that. It just right. comes down to what they do after they got it. I'm not worried about what's going to happen tomorrow. I'm not thinking right. about that. I'm only worried about what I'm going to do next because that'll dictate tomorrow. You're what? I'm only worried about what I'm going to do right now because that oh. dictates the more. Oh, oh, yeah. I can't change yeah. yesterday. The, oh, yes. Yeah. So, you can't change. You know, yes. No, you, you cannot change. You can never yesterday. change yes. yesterday. So, so yes. the thing I... You look at people here living without merit. They're living like there's no tomorrow. You know, they're really fighting for what they want in their dreams. And they're making big fucking sacrifices, risking being hungry, all that kind of shit. Maybe not all of them, but, you know, vast majority, you know, starving artists. They're doing that shit. Come for what is bleeding. These people are bleeding. They're pouring their heart out for this craft. And that is something that people got to follow. Of course. And that's something Sam Burroughs, yes. that's something Riley, that's something all these guys know. It's like, what you got is what you bleed. And, and that's just the honest truth. So... <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I well, guess. exactly, right? And like, even me, like, you know, like, I, I, I love everybody, you know, sometimes I might be rude to some friends, you know, sometimes I might be disrespectful. I take jokes way too far. I'm human, right? So, yes. like, the thing about all these things is, you know, why you are a, you, of course, and, you know? And, and this is what I'm trying to <laughs> yeah. say is, you know, you look at Pac, Pac was always a human from the beginning to the end. I look at Travis Scott, well, you know what? You chose to not be human at one point. And you stopped using that platform to better the lives of what you grew up with. Because if we take the energy we got in here and we get to the level of fame just with this energy in here, we would be preaching love, peace, hate. I would know. Every time I come in here trying to say, yo, I'm the fucking shit, yo, I'm rich, or all that kind of bullshit, or the fuck, I get shut down quick. If they had that in the world, 
we would have a lot more peace about just coming yeah. together, being who you are and what you want. And, and that is something that people don't do enough of. Yeah. They don't. They don't. And, and, and you know what? That That is the thing, right? So it's either, you know, you look at like the movie The Dark Knight. He says you either live long enough to see yourself die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Yeah. I've lived that yeah, to become the villain and that, 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 that is why. Anthony, so for the last few minutes of our po podcast interview here, I would like to just ask you a couple more important questions here if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. Yes. Let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Now we can get yes. interesting. Yes. I would like to ask your further perspective on the Canadian underdogs ciphers and the shows. The further perspective. Yes. What do you think we could be further seeing next? What, what, what do you see of the Canadian underdogs well, I, I, in the I, I future? See, I, I see something that's going to basically be either like you know the basis to a lot of you know talented people going their separate ways, whether they go above, whether they sink. But this is the, this is the conduit keeping it all together for everybody. And you know a lot of stuff's going to come from this. This will be very revered. It will be very remembered. It will be very a part of the culture of hip hop and. Then, culture in this city and that's something that nobody can take no one's gonna take that i see a strong good future for this i, I see that this is the basis of the documentary this is year one this is that and then no one's gonna take that from anyone there's always gonna be a basis to build off of this what you've seen and what, what you've experienced here right 100 yes well said yes anthony yes and on the other hand i would like to ask you one question here and that question is what is your ultimate goal oh, in life? In what in what life, what are you I trying see. to su succeed as what? Anthony Morena? Anthony Morena. Well, here everybody is picturing you as somebody, but uh, is that what you want to be? What is, is that? Is that is that the image for yeah, you? Yeah. What, what what I really want to see for myself, like at like you know more, more towards like the apex of what's going on with me and the whole timeline and story of you know what I'm kind of building as a path as an artist. I want to start being the the underdog. I, I am the real Canadian underdog. I will be. Um, if this was that, yeah, I will be because if, if you're in on this and you you know what's coming next, you know that you gotta keep your that seatbelt on because it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Because for someone like me to, to be in this position to, to keep going with the, the energy I've thrown into an era that doesn't support it, uh, what I'm aiming for is is that to be the, the Canadian underdog. Right? That's really it. Canadian underdogs. Uh, yes. That's, that's basically it. Yes. Yeah, uh, of course. Great. Wow. But yeah, that's the one thing a lot of people don't think is like, like I, I just saw Chia give one of like the best freestyles I've ever heard in my life. And a lot of people think me and him don't get along because, you know, just I, I'm really harsh with the mic at the site because I really, I get really aggressive. I say, you know, I come, you know, very, I let like the energy take over. Aggressive is good though, aggressive. Anthony. You know, you're so very cute, yeah, Anthony. Yeah, thank you, thank you. But you're a, a so lot of, cute. A lot of the people here, they don't think, you know, that I think far of them, but actually, the thing is, is like, I, I respect a lot of these guys a lot more than I think, a lot more, because, you know, to be in the presence of such talented people that have you know, really throw themselves out more than I have, I, I respect a lot of you, and I want you to appreciate that, that, you know, to even be in the position in front of you, I, I know I may act like a fucking, you know, I can say a couple words of what I like, like, I really do appreciate all the time and energy because you guys have all been so beneficial with that support. And that's something that I'm never gonna take for granted. Never gonna take for granted. Never, never, never. If you got any questions, this is. Well, if we're gonna just wrap that up here, I mean, it's gonna up to you. <laughs> you got nothing? Anthony. Um, I just want to say it's a pleasure to have had you for this podcast today. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. you're rapping screaming. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you got to chill, yeah. chill the fuck out. Chill the fuck out. Hopefully, no, hopefully, no. Hopefully, hopefully they can get that for that last second. Oh, it's no, gay. That's gay, man. Right. Nothing wrong with being gay, but no, no it's too much. No, 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 no way. I'm saying so. They fucking edit that. That's yeah, so. okay. No, it's all good. Nothing wrong with being gay, but like that's just too much. Oh, fuck.